I've been trying to get this video so it would play for a while. Now, some people in the Bay Area, I don't know who did it, but um, they uh, vandalized the Holocaust Memorial. That's not why I'm um, showing you this clip. The Holocaust Memorial has nothing to do with what I want to show you. What I want to show you is that somebody said the military is going to start p picking out the people off the street, you know. And this morning there's been a big raid. Yo, you check for yourself. I'm going to point out some stuff that, you know, not just the stuff that my wife showed to me, but some stuff that I noticed in this the news coming from KTVU, San Francisco. It is 7.36. We have some breaking news out of Richmond right now. We have just learned that several law enforcement agencies are involved in a Bay Area-wide raid. KTV Channel 2 reporter Claudine Wong joins us live now with late breaking details. Good morning, Claudine. Good morning, Tori. This story is still developing right now. We are in Richmond's Iron Triangle, and behind me you can see just one of the raids. Those are uh, FBI and Richmond police. We also see a Pleasanton police car outside. Those are United States military uniforms. Um, you can't really see them that clear because I turned the TV down, the brightness down, so it wouldn't be a big old giant glare. Um, I pointed out, my wife pointed out that Richmond is a town that's, uh, I say like, you know, 35, 40 minutes away from here, almost the same distance as San Francisco from here. There's police agency vehicles that we can see in this clip from the neighboring town over. So they said it's multi, you know, regional, but all the people I see coming in and out of his house uh, is wearing military Street uniforms. Hawthorne and 8th Street. Green uh, Army, this is military. Just one of several dozen locations we are told that are uh, being Tell raided police. at this hour. There were simultaneous raids uh, this morning just after 7 o'clock. Again, several dozen locations. The majority of them did happen in Richmond in the Iron Triangle. Another military uh, person right County, there. Alameda County and Sacramento County. Mil this you can see the American flag on the shoulder. And the California Department of Justice, but the FBI is here, the Sheriff's Department. Military, the Department. baby. There are hundreds of agencies involved in this. Uh, these are search warrants being delivered this morning. Uh, gang related. Dr now, gangs, drugs, and prostitution. Okay, yeah, they got a right to be there. I have no problem with that. But that looked like the Army. That looked like the military in regular police cars. I would like to hear their voices. To hear if they're even American citizens arresting Americans. Drug related prostitution related. This is an investigation that has been going on since. Get January. the shit off the they streets. Get the drugs. Us, uh, get the, the, the they, uh, prostitutes. Get all that shit off the street. We are in a location where there's this location. There's one further down the street, and around the corner there's another location. Again, simultaneous raids just after seven o'clock this morning as they issue search warrants in this investigation that spans over at least three or four counties. Uh, we do expect for more information later. Today. We just saw uh, the Richmond police chief. They are working with the attorney general's office, and right now, not saying a whole lot. But we have learned again that these are warrants involving uh, gangs, involving drugs, and involving prostitution. Now, I have no problem with them getting that shit off the streets, but that's local police. And, and, and if the local police say they can't handle this, um. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. No, oh, no, I didn't. Let's see if I can brighten this up. I want you to see if you can see the uniform. Department of Justice, but the FBI is here, the Sheriff's Department's Bureau of Narcotics. It's supposed to be the FBI. I, I don't I can't call it. Put my finger right there, maybe that'll help. But I can't call it. But uniform to me looks County. military. Yeah, damn TiVo. I don't even know how to work the damn TiVo. So you have kept this uh, under wraps as they uh, continue to investigate. We are in a location where there's this location. There's one further down the street. And a 
I just want you to see the military the uniforms. Those are uh, FBI, Richmond police. We also see a Pleasanton police car outside uh, this home here. On I saw maybe one police officer. Uh, this is just one of several dozen locations we are told that are uh, being raided at this hour. There were simultaneous raids uh, this morning just after 7 o'clock. Again, several dozen locations. The majority of them military. Have in Richmond and the Iron Triangle. Military. They are also happening in Marin County, Alameda County, and Se Army. This story Army is still man. developing right now. We are in Richmond's Iron Triangle, and behind me, you can see just one of the races. Uh, FBI, Richmond Army police, man. Also a pleasant Army. police car outside uh, this Army. here on Hawthorne, and eight. Ar that is an army man. Street. Uh, this is just one of army man. dozen locations we are told Paloma. are being raided at this hour. There were forty-five miles away from raids, there uh, this morning, just after. That is an army man. Several dozen locations. That is military, baby. That's I don't care if they pulling drugs and people off the street. I want to see my military fighting somebody else. I don't want to see the military. I don't want to see the military riding down the streets. I mean, Petaluma Police Department is not that far from where I am. Richmond is where I used to live at. I think the army just borrowed these as many cars as they could to go do this. County, this looks military to me. County and Sacramento. Look at that army. Look at army pants. Look at army. Look at the army backpack. Fatigues and shit. Okay. I mean. This is a joint investigation by Richmond PD and the California Department of. F B I. Look like it's a F A T, don't it? That's the F B I. Justice, but the FBI is here, the Sheriff's Department's Bureau of... Does the FBI come like that? Look at it. Is that FBI? Is that, is that, is that the FBI? Look. What is that? Is that UN peacekeeping? That, that's the military doing the police's job. It's getting close, baby. You better start stocking up on food. Stock up on water. Because once the, the supermarkets are next. The supermarkets are next. They're going to try to bail out these auto dealerships. And there won't be no money to bail out the supermarkets. Where your food's coming from. And then these hooligans right here. Going to come down the street and stop you from running red lights they gonna stop you they gonna stop you from growing food in your backyard they're gonna stop you from having four chickens well come on there is a limit they're gonna stop you from growing food in your backyard because it'll be illegal to grow food if they can come in they can come in Narcotics. There are hundreds of agencies involved in this. Uh, these are search warrants being delivered this morning. Uh, gang related, drug related, prostitution related. Get the all that shit off the streets. By all the means, January. clean up the streets. They obviously, have kept this uh, under wraps as they uh, continue to investigate. At we what have a cost? Where there's this location, there's one further down the street, and around the corner, there's another. Clean up the streets. Simultaneous raids just after seven o'clock this morning as they cost? issue search warrants in this investigation that spans over. At least three or four counties. Uh, we do expect for more information later today. We just saw uh, the Richmond Police Chief Army the Attorney General's Office, and right now, not saying a whole lot, but we have learned again that these are warrants involving uh, gangs, involving drugs, and involving prostitution. We will continue to, of course, to follow the story as the situation continues to develop. Live in Richmond, Claudine Wong, KTVU Channel 2 News. I love the local news. But when my cousin was lynched by a bunch of people that got out of fucking prison, I called the same fucking people, and they said, you know, they can't report on every story. But they can show the United States military rounding people up. Regardless, that looked like the military to me. You can tell me I'm wrong. I appreciate that. But that scene scares the shit out of me. You've been tubed.